I'm broke right now, but I dress like a fucking baller. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to dress like a fucking baller, even if you're broke. Let's get into it. The first thing you need before you do anything, before you go out to buy the clothes, to research what clothes to buy, all that shit, there's one thing you need. A fucking gym membership. Get in the fucking gym, start putting on some fucking muscle. I'm not asking you to get jacked and huge like Daniel Craig in the scene. Look at me, I'm not that big. But when the shirt comes off, when it's time to get in the bed, to whip out, when it's time to do the dance with no pants, you wanna look good. I'm not the biggest guy in the world, fuck no. A good physique gives you structure so that when you do put the clothes on or take them off, it looks good. But particularly when you put the clothes on, you walk around and people just look at you and go like, fuck, that guy looks good. I can't tell, I, I don't know why he looks good, but he looks good. Why? It's because of your physique. I have a friend, who, his physique is absolutely amazing. He wears a normal black t-shirt and pants, looks great, looks absolutely great. On any other dude, you put a black t-shirt and pants on, looks like a fucking geek. It's because of his physique. Get in the gym, build an aesthetic body, focus on the primary muscles that build attraction, that look good, and I'm probably gonna make a video about that because I'm currently in the process of trying to build such a physique and target those particular muscles because I figured it out. Like you can have two jacked people, but one looks better than the other. Why? It's because they've emphasized certain muscles and I figured that out. So I'm probably gonna make a video about it later. You put a simple black t-shirt on Daniel Craig here, he look great. Put a Gucci t-shirt on a fat dude and he'll look terrible. Nobody will wanna fuck him. Keep that in mind. Which brings me on to the point of labels, brand labels. Nobody rich and worse respecting walks around with fucking sh Gucci and all that shit splattered all over their body. Like, like just think about classy, rich, badass characters. They're literally just walking around in something that looks good, but without all the fucking logos and labels hanging off of them. They don't need to show that shit. I remember when I was younger and I was like, oh my God, hype beast and Supreme. I was looking at all that shit. And my dad just said this one simple thing to me, which I didn't understand back then, was why the fuck would you market for somebody else's brand? It makes so much sense to me now, now that I'm actually looking into how brands and companies work. Right? Why the fuck would I go around saying Gucci here when I'm, I'm, I'm literally promoting for them? I'm literally walking around with a signboard saying, oh, Gucci products, Gucci products. Well, why the fuck would I do that? I'm not shitting on designer stuff because I do want designer clothes in the future, especially a designer bathrobe. Like just walk around, go on the balcony, smoke real quick in the robe with my long hair, looking down at my fucking empire. I want to do that. When you're just trying to flex the brand, you know, just walk around with the Gucci just like on your chest and or the Gucci belt just to get the clout. I don't even know if people use that word anymore. Don't do it. You look like a dumbass because brands like this, you know, walking around with a Gucci hoodie or some stupid shit like that will only attract the people who can't afford them. And why the fuck do you want to attract those people? They're dickheads. You don't want to attract those people. And style matters. The one you pick, the one you're wearing in the current moment, it matters because it gives off a certain energy, a certain vibe. On the left, I have two images of some casual clothing, right? This isn't very formal. I mean, you could wear this when you're going out with your boys to eat, you know, maybe go for a night drive, just fucking around, going to class, school, university. You could wear this kind of shit, fine. But you will be perceived a certain way depending on what you choose. And that's why your style matters. Here on the right, I'm wearing something different, which isn't in the same category as the stuff on the left. But this shit is like when you're getting serious, when you want to get feel presentable. In this case, it's formal. I only perceived as a status guy. That's why I'm wearing that shit. And one major thing is if everybody else is appearing a certain way, you know, skinny and wearing some shitty t-shirts and jeans and whatever, and you wear the same shit, you're gonna be perceived to be like them. Do something to make yourself kind of stand out. The point is style matters. What you pick, if you go around wearing what this guy on the far left is wearing with the jeans and the bag and the, the weird jacket, then you're gonna be perceived to be a, that kind of person. You're gonna be perceived to be that kind of immature kid. That's just how it is. Whereas if you wear something, something like in the middle where you're just, you know, more presentable wearing something not too crazy, and just walking around wearing that, then you'll be perceived to be that kind of person. Somebody chill, somebody maybe a skater or some shit like that. But if you're wearing something like on the right, then somebody might think, okay, this guy, this guy's onto something. This guy, this guy knows something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass here. Now, these are some styles that you can possibly navigate. Casual, casual wear, shit that you wear on your day to day, to school, to college, to um, campus, library, to go out and grab some junk food or just some normal food to the gym, 
And this is where your streetwear comes in, your plain t-shirts, your cargoes, your sneakers, your hoodies, your jeans, that kind of shit. There's a time and place for all this kind of stuff. And it looks good, right? It's presentable, things you can bust out in most situations. All the pieces in this picture are something you really do need as a man, like blue jeans, white t-shirt, cargoes, sneakers, hoodies, simple things. Like you should have these, cycle all the different pieces in this picture and create like 10 different outfits. And they will all look pretty damn good. But this is when things get serious. This is my fucking forte, or not yet, because I don't have much shit like this, but I want it to be my forte, smart fucking clothing. This is for when things get serious. And I'm not talking smart clothing like this geek on the bottom left. That dude doesn't fuck. Like, look what he's wearing. He's just wearing white or blue t-shirt and a shitty little tie and some random fucking trousers. He doesn't look good. This dude don't fuck. The rest three, they fucking fuck. Look at what they're wearing. These are the kinds of clothes you wear when you go to a business seminar, a business meeting, the casino, a dinner, a date with a hot chick and in the top left, which is me, I'm wearing a shirt. And the shirt isn't that expensive. I got it tailored, but all around with the cost of the, all the tailoring and the fabric that I bought, it cost like maybe 20 pounds. Because I was smart about it. I bought, I bought good fabric, but I got it tailored and fitted to my exact measurements for something that wasn't that expensive. And now I have a shirt that looks great, that it's great material, that fits on me perfectly because it's been tailored to me. And I bust that shirt out whenever necessary. It's like a secret weapon. Forget about me. Look at these two absolutely gorgeous stud looking dudes. You can't really see them, but you can tell they fuck. This is the kind of smart shit I'm talking about. They're kind of baller clothes. And you can tell black goes absolutely well. You can do other colors as well, but I'm still young and I think black is something that you can never really go wrong with. These are the kinds of clothes you want to wear when you, you want to be smart. The black belt, the black leather belt, the watch, fitting black shirt. It doesn't have to be a button up, could be a simple black t-shirt, a turtleneck, the blazer, pants that fit well, that kind of shit. But how the fuck do you get it for cheap? How the fuck do you get it without breaking the fucking bank? This is something I've been doing for years. Actually, I did it by common sense. Get simple pieces from non-expensive brands and piece things together. It's what I've been doing for years. In these pictures, you can see that the top two models, they're wearing simple ass clothes. Look how good they look in them. Again, simple black t-shirts, black pants, black leather belt. Doesn't have to be expensive. And you might be saying, I'm recycling the same kind of style in, in this presentation. They all come from the core thing of simple clothes. But fucking black t-shirt, black pants, it's some simple dumb shit, but it looks absolutely baller. It looks absolutely fucking amazing. You can tell these two fuckers have serious money. It definitely makes you think that. Like, obviously these guys are doing something. That, that's the kind of vibe you get. One major thing to point out again is that obviously these guys are fit. None of them are fat. None of them are skinny fat. None, none of them are out of shape. Forget about a picture of me. Just look at these two at the top. Banging fucking outfit. You could wear this. You wear this on a date with a hot chick, but you, you're good. You're fucking that night, most probably. And what ties it all together is a good fucking physique. This is also very important. Your accessories. A statement piece is unique to you. Now, my statement piece is something that I've been rocking for a long time and that I've made my own. is my earrings. If you look at all these pictures closely, my earrings, my chain, they make the whole outfit pop. It's these little things that really make the whole picture. The art piece. In this picture of me in the pool, you can see my dangly earring. You can see the chain popping out. Without the chain and dangly earring, it would look a little less eye-catching. On the left, you can see that with the fresh haircut, I've got my dangly earring. In the pictures at the bottom, it's me and my friend fucking around in a club, but we're wearing rings. Do the rings pop out? Somebody looks at the picture and they notice the rings. And the cool ass lighter my bro gave me. These accessories will make the fit pop out. Your, your rings, your earrings, your cufflinks. All the earrings, you, you might be thinking, oh, these earrings are gay. They're not gay. Girls love my fucking earrings. I remember way back then when I got my first girlfriend, she was like, I absolutely love your earrings. I was only experimenting with it at the time. And she was like, I absolutely love your earrings. And after that, every single fucking girl has said how much she loves my earrings. Girls that love this shit. Okay, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them do fucking love it. And I've gotten so many fucking compliments because of it. And I just fucking love wearing them. It looks fucking sick. Chains, like, you know, definitely have a chain. Something simple, it doesn't have to be thick, some rapper bullshit chain. A simple chain, it can pop up. Make sure you shine it, make sure it's clean, make sure it looks good. And rings, you know, I'm not wearing my rings right now. But simple rings, you don't have to spend, break the bank. You know? It doesn't have to be expensive. My rings, I've got a few silver rings, some normal cheap shit that I've got from all around the world. And earrings and rings are not gay. Try it and then tell me when you're fucking some next man's girl how gay they are, okay? Fucking try it and tell me. One very important thing is fragrance. Whatever you do, do your best to become that guy that smells good. Because 
no matter how good a person looks, if they stink, it's finished. It's over. No matter how hot a girl is, if her breath stinks, if she stinks, bro, it's over. Nobody's going to want to be around her. Like, it, it's an immediate turn off. But when somebody smells good, even if they don't look the best, even if they're not the most handsome guy in the world, if they smell good, you want to be in that presence. You want to be around them. The next time you smell that smell, maybe it's not from them, you'll think about them. All these little things. It's very effective when it comes to people, right? It's, a, it's one of the five senses. Use it. And here are a few perfumes, some sexy ass perfumes that aren't too expensive. Versace Eros, not, not expensive at all. Very good perfume. I mean, all these perfume chicks like. It's a very good perfume. Wear it. Bentley for Men Intense. I'll be careful with that one because it's more like a boozy fragrance, something like, you know, a guy wearing a leather jacket would wear who, sm who drinks whiskey and fucks and doesn't give a shit. Be careful with that one. Another is YSLY. That one is a fucking banger. It's a bit more expensive, but it's so fucking good. And Armani Stronger With You, which is one I've had. It is absolutely insane. It smells fucking delicious. But that's the end of the video. And this is just a piece of my information i want to relay about fashion because i've been into fashion for a long fucking time and i love that shit fuck I, I fucking love that shit presenting yourself like an art piece like how you want to look like do that shit it's fucking good for you it's fucking fun and it's good for you and people will love you for it oh yeah one last thing use pinterest use the internet use all these resources to find pieces find styles that you like I've had multiple styles throughout the years. What I was wearing when I was 16, 17 years old in high school isn't the same as what I'm wearing now at 19 years old and probably won't be the same as to what I'm wearing when I'm 25. It's all going to change and evolve. But use your resources so you can get as much knowledge as possible. And with that being said, I hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, let me know in the description. Or description. Let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram. Like the video if it helped you. If you hated the video, drop some hate in the comments or share it to somebody whatever but with that being said i will catch you in the next fucking video peace out fuck me